Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change your mouse DPI to 800. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you change your mouse DPI here? Well, there's actually multiple ways on how to do that. Now, in this case, the first thing that you need to do here is you first need to know if there is any built-in buttons on your mouse. Now, if you're not aware yet, there's actually buttons that you could press on your mouse that actually changes your DPI. But this actually depends on the brand of your mouse. So, for example, if like for example you are using or if you have like a specific mouse, like for example Logitech, so they would typically have like two buttons at the front here, which in this case when you press the forward button here, it will actually increase your DPI and increase uh clicking on the second button here on the front would actually in turn decrease your DPI. In this case, clicking either of those could increase or decrease your DPI. Now, in this case, not all mouse actually have that specific button, so how do you change that? Well, in this case, you could actually use the built-in feature for Windows. So at the bottom left, you want to go to your Windows here. Just type in Windows, or in this case, you want to type in uh, Mouse Settings. So in this case, let's go ahead and just type in Mouse Settings here. Mouse Settings. And you want to go ahead and click on Mouse Settings here. Now, in here, what we need to do next is we need to basically change the cursor speed. Now, changing the cursor speed could actually slow down or speed up your cursor. So, in this case, it's going to speed it up. If you increase the volume, decreasing the volume would slow it down. Now, in this case, it doesn't necessarily show you the DPI of the speed mouse here. So, what are the alternatives that you could use here? So, some mouse actually have their own software they can install in your PC to manage your DPI. So, in my case, I actually have Logitech here. So, in this case, you could go ahead and just type in uh, Logitech here. And usually, you should be able to see the software. So, it's usually G Hub for mine. But again, depends on your mouse. So, you might want to check your instructions uh, in your mouse or that came with that. Uh, the, actually, the instructions that came with the mouse itself. So, typically, once you've actually installed the G Hub or any software for that mouse. So, I'm just, just open it up for in mine. So, let's go open it up. And in here, usually I have the option to select my mouse here. Let's go ahead and select this one. And as you can see, I have the option to change my DPI. So currently I set this to 3200, but you can change, to change this to say a 1600 or even 800 here. But in this case, yeah. So that's how you change your uh, mouse speed on the manufacturer software. But what if you don't have any software or any such for that? Well, in this case, you could actually download and install raw axle here but in this case you need to go to google here just type in raw axle and typically it's going to give you this github and uh, website here let's go and open up the website itself let's go and click on download raw axle let's go and close the ad here let's go and click on download and once the download is complete let's go and open up the zip file here let's go open it up and uh, from here what we need to do is we need to extract the contents of it let's go and drag it in here and from here, once it's actually extracted, let's go ahead and close this one, open up the folder. And from here, what we need to do is we need to open up raw axle. Let's go ahead and click on the raw axle. Let's go ahead and click on run. And from here, it should start booting up. So let's just wait for it to load up. So, and yeah, before running the actual raw axle that exit here, go ahead and click on installer here. Click on yes if it requires any permissions. It's going to give you this command prompt here. So in this case, let's go ahead and press any key. To install it but once it's actually installed uh, we should be able to open up the raw axle app once the app is now up and running what we need to do is we now need to change the sense multiplier now the sense multiplier here works as a way for you to multiply what is your current uh, sensitivity is so currently like for example you've set your current um dpi to 400 so what you need to do is you need to actually uh divide that by uh whatever dpi that you're tar targeting so for example let me just open up my calculator here so for example if you're targeting like around 800 dpi you need to actually divide that by the amount of uh dpi that you have right now so for example you have the basic there's the slowest one which is 400 you can go ahead and equal that so as you can see you get two so you need to change this as a two uh, multiplier 
In this case, you go and click on the apply button here to apply your changes and you should now have an updated TPI. But that's about it. So uh, hopefully this video was able to help you. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.